I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Welcome to today's edition of Arrow News. It's Wednesday, December 1st, 2021. To get things started, here's today's Time Rewind. It's Time Rewind for December 1st. In Montgomery, Alabama in 1955, Rosa Parks takes a stand by taking a seat on a city bus and staying in it. Asked by the driver to give up that seat to a white passenger and move to the back of the bus, she refuses and is arrested. The time had just come when I had been pushed as far as I could stand to be pushed, I suppose. The incident triggers a year-long boycott of the city's bus system and gives rise to the modern civil rights movement. Musically speaking, it's 1973 when the Carpenters are on top of the pop chart with this single. Born on this day, screenwriter, director, and actor Woody Allen, comedian Sarah Silverman, and singer Bette Midler. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. On the national calendar today, it's National Pie Day. The SAT word of the day is paramount, which means important than anything else. Don't forget that the campus doors open at 7 a.m. for students to enter the building. Students are encouraged to arrive at school by 7.20 to prepare for the school day. Breakfast is served from 7.05 to 7.25 a.m. Here are some important reminders. Bring a water bottle each and every day. Continue to exhibit our core values, respect, responsibility, and ready to learn to earn your golden arrows. The PTO is selling Mario cards for $10 in the office. For this Wellness Wednesday, let's take a look at how gratitude plays a role in our physical well-being. Research shows that adopting an attitude of gratitude Simply expressing appreciation and being more thankful can measurably improve your overall well-being. For example, studies prove that gratitude can increase happiness, reduce depression, and strengthen resiliency. Grateful people often experience reduced blood pressure, less chronic pain, increased energy, even longer lives. People who purposefully express more gratitude report higher self-esteem than those who don't. And they're more likely to help others, a pro-social behavior also linked to greater happiness. People who capture grateful thoughts before bed sleep better than those who don't. Why so many positive changes? Because gratitude actually rewires our brains, kickstarting the production of dopamine and serotonin. Like antidepressants, these feel-good neurotransmitters activate the bliss center of the brain, creating feelings of happiness and contentment. This appears to be self-perpetuating. Research suggests that with regular practice, you'll train your prefrontal cortex to better appreciate and retain positive experiences and thoughts, and to deflect the negative ones. Here are a few simple ways to deliberately cultivate that attitude of gratitude. Celebrate minor accomplishments. Think about what you have, rather than dwelling on what you don't. Tell the people in your life something you appreciate about them. Tell yourself too. Volunteer, hold a door for a stranger, or simply smile more, and you'll probably feel better, as kindness and giving are connected to gratitude. Similar positive brain changes can occur from regular meditation and mindfulness. Keep a daily gratitude journal using an old-fashioned notebook or a high-tech app. The science is clear. Give gratitude a go. You'll be thankful you did. The science fair at Austin is now in full swing for the 7th and 8th graders. This year's event has been moved to January 7th to give students more time to produce quality products that could possibly advance in further competition. This week, teachers and the safety committee will provide approval or feedback for revision. Students must have their ID badges around their necks before entering the building. If a student forgets their ID, they can get a temporary ID at the front office. 
The charge is $1 per day. Students that do not have the money will be charged. Students that need a new badge can purchase one for $5. Here's your random fact of the day. The tallest man ever recorded was American giant Robert Wadlow, who lived from 1918 to 1940. That's 32 years. Who stood 8 feet 11 inches tall. Here's your weird fact of the day. E is the most common letter and appears in 11% of all English words. On the lunch menu today, the cafeteria will be serving sub sandwiches, cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, cheeseburgers, chicken smackers, and buffalo chicken smackers. Tomorrow, the cafeteria will serve beef steak, fingers, stuffed crust cheese pizza, stuffed crust pepperoni pizza, cheeseburgers, and spicy chicken sandwiches. Galveston weather. Go. <laughs> I'm sorry. My brain. Alright. On the lunch menu today, the cafeteria is serving potato and bark. Thank you so much for watching today's edition of Arrow News. See you tomorrow. <laughs>